Hello, I'm David, and this is my persuasive speech. What do you know about renewable energy? My guess is most people have seen wind turbines and solar panels sometime in their life. Renewable energy should be utilized everywhere. I've always had an interest in it, and over the years of having interest, I have gained knowledge on the benefits from it and the different forms of renewable energy. Today I'm going to talk about what kind of renewable energy sources there are, the benefits that can come from it, and the cost of them. So I'm going to talk about five main sources today. The sources are solar, wind, hydroelectric, biomass, and geothermal energy. Um, according to renewable energies, solar energy uh, converts sunlight to electricity. It does this using nuclear fusion power that is generated from the sun. According to In Search of Wind Energy Potential, wind energy can either pump water or create electricity. The wind turns the propeller of the wind turbine and it, the generator converts the electric, it converts it to electric energy. According to hydropower in the context of sustainable energy supply, hydroelectric energy is created from ocean level rise that happens because of sunlight heat onto the ocean. It activates the generator and converts to electricity. It can also be used in a dam that uses the water current to turn the generator to convert to electricity. And here is an example of hydroelectric conversion in a dam system. According to renewable energy, biomass energy is energy that is created from the burning of organic material. This is strictly used to create heat, not electricity, so they use it for warmth and cooking. You can heat buildings for it or with it and use it for other heating reasons. Um, the only bad thing about this is it does contribute some to CO2 gases in the atmosphere. According to renewable energy, geothermal energy is heat energy that is stored within the surface of the earth. It produces enough heat to heat buildings, so it is used to do that. Now that you know the five types of renewable energies, let's go over some of the benefits of them. According to the article Renewable Energies, most energy sources rely on oil, natural gas, and coal. These are non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources diminish over time. They create damaging fossil fuels and CO2 in the atmosphere that is thought to contribute to global warming. As there are less and less of these resources, the expense for them goes up. According to renewable energy, there is a more consistent price because the, or the energy is renewable and they don't run out over time. There is little to no greenhouse gases produced. The operation is way less expensive um, for all parts. And that, that is, solar panels are set up and they produce, they produce energy right away. Um, wind turbines are the same way. They're set up and they're, they're producing energy. Um, same with hydroelectric dams. Biomass is, as soon as you're burn, burning organic material, you're creating heat. And geothermal energy is heat that's already buried beneath the Earth's surface, so you're just accessing that. So now that we've gone over some of the benefits, let's go over the prices. Money for in, installing any of these um, offset completely by the energy it creates. And again, they cost way less money to operate. According to the article Solar Energy, a solar panel system has an average price of fifteen dollars to $20,000 to install. 
And according to the article Renewable Energy, wind turbines take one to two million dollars to install. Hydroelectric power produces an average of 85 cents per kilowatt hour. So as soon as it's installed, it's, it's repaying everything that it uses to take. The biomass energy, heat energy is created right away as soon as you start burning stuff. So there's not much expense other than the expense for organic material that you're burning. And geothermal energy, again, there's not much expense because you're just taking out heat that's beneath the Earth's surface. So renewable resources cost an average of 50% less than nuclear energy, 40% less than fossil fuels, and 25% less than natural gas. Now you know why renewable resources should be utilized everywhere. To those who didn't know a lot about renewable resources, hopefully this speech taught you a little bit about them. Today I told you about the kinds of renewable resources, the benefits that you can get from them, and the cost of some of them. Renewable energy is getting more and more popular each day. Hopefully soon everybody will be able to convert to utilizing it.